Nine News. Breaking news. And we are still following that breaking news from earlier this evening. The city and county of El Paso deciding to lift the stay home work safe order this Friday, more than two weeks ahead of schedule. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. This is to fall in line with the governor's orders meant to reignite the Texas economy. The announcement coming as we learn of two more COVID-19 deaths here in El Paso. Even after the stay home order is lifted, the city says social gatherings are still discouraged. People 65 years and older are asked to stay at home and limit contact as best as they can. And all essential businesses and retail to go businesses will continue to operate with safety protocols already in effect. Meanwhile, other things will remain closed even after Friday. They include all of the city's parks, except for the walking paths, public playgrounds, and courts. Those are still shut down. And the city of El Paso museums and libraries will also remain closed. As we mentioned earlier, the city of El Paso is also reporting two more deaths from the coronavirus. The patients, a woman in her 70s and a man in his 50s. Health officials say both of them had underlying health conditions. This brings the total number of deaths to 14. 28 new cases were also announced today, totaling 857. Now, uh, 35 people are hospitalized, 19 of them in the ICU. 295 of those cases have recovered in El Paso County. So what can open back up? Well, city officials say restaurants, retail stores, and malls. By the way, Sierra Vista Mall is slated to open Friday, according to a company memo. Movie theaters can also open Friday, though Cinemark, AMC, and Alamo Drafthouse say they're going to wait. Well, there will be certain restrictions. Businesses can only operate at 25% capacity. They must practice the same health protocols that essential businesses have been doing. And all employees must cover their faces. Across the rest of the borderland, we're seeing uh, more COVID-19 cases. Doña Ana County reported three new cases for a total of 129. The number of deaths still at one. In Juarez, 254 reported cases with deaths now up to 63.